Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on a plugin that I've already talked about, but uh, not too long ago they had a firmware update that really has put it possibly as my favorite plugin for DaVinci Resolve. This is, of course, I'm talking about is Mononodes. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on Mononodes, it's an excellent program developed, uh, uh, developed uh, by a great guy. If you haven't seen it, check out that video. It's, it's a great overview of it. But essentially what I am using is the utilities package that comes with it, which if you're really looking to figure out how to get a perfectly balanced image and sort of seeing what your image is doing, uh, for, uh, just from a technical standpoint and sort of helping you sort of get those corrections out in order, this is probably one of the best tools I have seen and it's relatively affordable. Um, it is in euros, it's about 80 euros, but it's when you see, see it again, you, it's well worth it. Uh, the main thing about Mononodes that I absolutely love is it really helps you nail the skin tones um, for the most part. But now with this uh, new update, which is 1.2, there is now some additional tools that you can use that will help you with understanding what your scene is doing exposure wise as well as saturation so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into it so as you guys see here i have a series of various different clips that i have right here and i think this will be sort of the one we'll start off with um so if i was to go full frame so you guys can sort of see what is happening here as you can see we got a lot we got a lot going on there's a lot of things and we can sort of see more sort of where the skin tones are so the key thing is that with F, as i mentioned before it is a dctl um if you haven't go check out again check out my previous video uh if you want to learn more about dctls and how to sort of install them um but essentially uh what we're going to hear is we're just checking out 1.2 so the main thing with mononos balance so this is their utility package with 1.2 is now we're getting a few more uh, uh, great tools that we have. So well, now we have what is an exposure heat map, which sort of shows you, sort of gives you a rough, a very rough idea of where, how things exposure wise. So the brighter things are, so like the white parts here, the white parts here, the uh, higher it is, the darkers are, which is like right here and a little bit in her hair. And we can sort of see as we go full screen, that's sort of replicating. So the high parts is like right here where that light is and where this is and we're getting a little bit of light off bouncing off a shirt and then we got uh, the apron uh, or pants right here and her black so sort of see the different uh, levels out. Because one of the big things, you know, one of the things that makes a great shot and what helps with a great shot is um, really showing off dimensions. So just from a, uh, a scene thing, what we got here? So we got, just from dimension, so we got depth. So one thing is depth. So we've got someone here, all the way back here, we've got lines that sort of show off, and I'll go full, more full screen so you guys can see. Uh, so as you guys can see here, we have, you know, someone here, we got a lines going here, we got lines up here, lines here that really show off the depth we got a little bit of movement to give a little bit more three-dimensional space. But the other thing that helps with contrast, is, that helps with three-dimensional space is contrast. So bright here, dark here, bright here. So composition as well as sort of breaking off the scene in light and dark and mixing and matching it and throwing it into the different scenes really helps give out the dynamics of the scene. But the other thing is color. So... And in that case, we would be looking at the saturation uh, tones right here. So as just based on the scene right now, what we see here is that the darker parts are showing what is not saturated. And this is kind of saturated. But as we move into the scene here, so we get this big right saturated part here as well as here. And of course, that is, of course, the light stats we got here and here. So that's really amplifying that saturation uh, that we have here. So all of this is just to tell us exactly what the scene is sort of doing and sort of helping us out. 
So first we want to try to get a proper balance image. And in this case, we're going to turn the skin tone indicator on. And I've talked about this. This is a great tool that I have and we'll land right here. And the thing that we hear, cause this is the person we're following. If I was to uh, deactivate this and go here, uh, looks good, looks solid, but um, one of the things that we can see is that it's a little bit more on the green side. So what we could do is just add a little bit of magenta to just bring this out. So I would say right about here. Now you don't want to go all the way because then it just, it gives the sense of just, it's kind of be a flat. You want a little bit of dimension. So there we have it right here. So let's turn that off and let's look before after this feels this feels a little bit more right look at the, look how her skin tones look where it was like a little bit green and gay especially with the environment felt a little flat now this feels a little bit more the tones feel a little bit on par and a little bit in, and correct and we see at least for my eyes and hopefully you guys are seeing and agreeing it but this is what the the big thing that I absolutely love about this is the skin tones if you have been ever been struggling with balancing and getting the skin tones right this is a great tool to see what your what your what your scene is doing in terms of the skin to get it right. It also helps you get whenever you're working with multiple cameras that have different color that have different color sciences to sort of house. This makes it easier to especially at least with the skin. It makes it easier to basically get everything the line to make it a bit more believable. So, I think this I think right now as we see here off, on, off. I personally think in terms of, uh, in terms of color balance, uh, we still got the whites are still great. And keep in mind, this is a scene that has a lot of lights bouncing everywhere. So I think in terms of our colors, it's pretty, I think this is a pretty balance. Now what we can do is we can sort of decide, okay, let's look at our, um, let's look at our scene and say, maybe, do we want to add some contrast or something like that? So we'll turn this on because everything right now is sort of all in the same place. There's a little bit here and here. Uh, we got, our levels are pretty much right. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to first go make this a three, three, five. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot it. And as you can see, as I'm pivoting up and downwards, taking all the contrast and now we're really amping the contrast here. And then I'll actually, t I'll turn this off so this will be easier to see. And then before, after, before, after. It's, it's very subtle, but that one change of going from here to here, it just, it gives a little bit more tone, a little bit more pop. And all I did was just set the pivot point where I want it to be, which is about uh, 0.335 just typically that's where I find the best time if you want to shift contrast that's the best point to have it uh, the pivot point so this is this is looking great um, it just adds a little bit more dimension so you'll see it especially right here on off it's subtle but it just adds more tones and more pop and it it, it gives the thing more pop now we got that part. Let's now let's take a look at our saturation. And we can see right here, we got a good diversity of saturation. So it where we got his shirt right here, we have um, we've got the light here that really pumps out that saturation. And then we got these parts that are not as saturated. And then here, which is somewhat, this gives. So I think in terms of saturation, I think we are in a good spot. So as we go full screen again, overall, I think this is a, this right now we landed on a great spot in terms of a, a start, a good look. I'm actually would be happy to print this and have this go right here, but this is it guys. I kind of wanted to just show you guys this. I, I, again, this, this is an essential tool to my arsenal because it just, it just makes everything so much easier to get the shots that I need. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave your comments down below if you have any further questions. Hope I'll be able to happily answer you. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.